A Beaver Township business fire remains under investigation tonight. I was part of our team coverage you saw on First News at noon. We pointed out that it was a true team effort to put that fire out. Now, the fire was at Bolt Construction in Beaver Township, a business with multiple buildings, and one of them started burning this morning. First News weekend anchor Megan Lee talked to first responders and a woman who spotted the flames and called 911 for help. She's live tonight with these brand new details. Dave, it looks a lot different than it did earlier today when you and I were doing the team coverage here around noon. Now, crews were called out to this area of South Avenue right by Poland Road for a, reports of a commercial structure fire. That's when multiple departments from the surrounding area responded to bolt construction, which you're seeing behind me. I'm told that there was um, some heat coming from the corner of their building. Now, this building is used for repair and maintenance, and a worker felt some heat coming from the back. I'm told this fire required a lot of water and a lot of manpower. Water pouring out of one of the six tanker trucks that was called to a structure fire at Bolt Construction on South Avenue in Beaver Township. According to Chief Larry Sauerwein, crews used about 40 to 50,000 gallons of water to fight the flames. With two tower trucks in the air, we didn't feel we had enough water coming from one hydrant to cover the whole situation, so we started a tanker shuttle from all of our neighboring departments. Calls came in for this large fire around 10 Wednesday morning. One woman saw the fire as she was driving on South Avenue from North Lima. I, I've just never seen that much smoke. Whatever was going on, it was hot. It was very intense. Cynthia Cash told me she didn't hear any sirens or see any activity near the building. That's when she knew she had to call 911. Maybe five other people called before me, but I just wanted to be sure that I called because of what I was looking at. Crews were faced with an intense fire when they arrived on scene. The biggest challenge was worrying about the walls collapsing. We had to keep our distance from the fire, fight it from the outside. We could not get inside to, to get close to the fire. As you can see behind me, there are various fire trucks from multiple departments in the area, and the chief tells me that their help was crucial in fighting these flames. It says that people are willing to give. They're willing to take time out of their day, come help us, put their lives on the line to help us in a very bad situation. We could not have done this by ourselves. As I was talking to the chief earlier today, he just kept saying how grateful he was for the various departments that were here. Many of them are volunteer based, so he was grateful that they were able to come out. He also did call in the state fire marshal to investigate this fire. Live in Beaver Township, Megan Lee, WKBN 27 First News.